Betting in youth soccer is an extremely important part of the game. It's a very underrated part of the game and a part where a lot of coaches on the youth level do not spend enough time teaching it. I like to teach my soccer players on the youth level, try to throw your eyes at the ball. I also teach them to start heading the ball while they're on their knees. We'll do a few different drills this way and we'll work the way up to standing up and heading. I'll introduce heading games in a confined area, allow them to juggle and also hit against the wall with their heads. This is a great way to teach heading and you have to teach them the proper technique to make them better all around soccer players. Now this is a very important video clip to help your soccer season. Heading techniques. Practicing heading techniques is an extremely important yet overlooked part of the game. Many teams will encourage heading as a big part of the game, but never really break down techniques. In practicing the heading technique, remember a number of things. The first thing we see is Bart emphasizing arching the back. Here the player is seated on the ground, which forces him to concentrate on the technique taught, arching the back. Note the way Bart shows players to move their arms in unison with heading the ball. After practicing in a seated position, players will move to their knees, again concentrating on arching the back and moving their arms. Finally, players move to a standing position while doing all the techniques taught earlier, while the coach reinforces everything that was taught. You're going to throw it a little bit higher. Now you're going to jump it, and in the air, your arms... A more difficult heading play. technique is the jumping header, which Bart demonstrates here. You pull yourself through. Heading is really important in game situations, and the best way for players to feel comfortable with heading is to practice the techniques, either by themselves or in some made-up heading games. 